I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, the Vermont Senate cast a final vote in favor of S-54. That is legislation that would legalize, regulate, and tax cannabis sales. It now proceeds to the desk of Governor Phil Scott, who hasn't said whether he's going to sign it or not. Aurora Cannabis delivered official results for the fourth quarter. The problem is, they said that revenues could continue to decline in the first quarter that's coming up. A couple of weeks ago, Aurora said its fourth quarter net revenue fell 5% to $72.1 million. They're now saying that in the first quarter, cannabis net revenue could come between $60 million and $64 million. So shareholders, not happy with that. Kushko Holdings said it expects its fiscal fourth quarter revenue to come in between $25.5 to $26 million. Now that's better than the $22.3 million reported in the third quarter. And they also said it's better than the previous guidance of a range of $24 to $26 million. They said the 14 to 17% expected increase in revenue is being driven primarily by an increase in sales by its top 100 customers. Akarna announced financial results for its fourth quarter and year ending June 30th. The company delivered total revenue of $3 million. Now that dropped 17% year over year due to COVID related delays in consulting revenue. They also reported a net loss of $6.2 million. However, for the full year, they totaled revenue came in at $12.6 million and that's an increase of 16% year over year. A couple of acquisitions happened this week to announce Santa Fe Farms has acquired Fathom NM Post Cultivation Services. This is part of their overall hemp operations in New Mexico. And Halo Labs bought the Canafields app in an all stock deal valued at $6.5 million. Psychedelic therapy company Mind Medicine has applied for an uplisting to the NASDAQ capital markets. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.